Configuring your user's access appropriately allows your DVI suite to be secure. We will show you how to add or adjust your shop's users so they can properly access DVI suite. Each person in your shop who needs access to DVI command or DVI app or both must be assigned their own user account. There are three basic types of DVI suite users, administrators, service writers, and technicians. Administrators have full access to both DVI Command and DVI App and are the ones responsible for configuring and maintaining your DVI suite. Service writers have access to both DVI Command and DVI App. They are able to create new repair orders or estimates, text customers, assign labor operations to technicians, and manage the shop workflow. Technicians only have access to the DVI App. They are able to view their labor operations and repair orders or estimates assigned to them, along with completing checklists. To configure your users, open DVI Command from within RO Writer. Log in as an administrator for DVI Suite. Once logged in, select Configuration, then select Users from the left. You will see a list of your shop's users already configured. Notice the user you are logged in as is not on the list. This is because you cannot adjust the logged in user unless you are logged in as someone else. You can see I have a user for each of the earlier mentioned types of users configured. John is an administrator, Andy is my technician, and Frank is my service writer. Click edit next to the user you would like to edit. For the administrator, you want to ensure they have full access to what they need. Make sure the following options are selected. Admin, New RO, New EST, WIP, EIP, Shop Pulse, Dashboard, and Smart Status. Once you've made your changes, click Update. We recommend your shop has at least two administrators configured since they are the only ones who can access configuration. For your service writer, make sure they have the tools they need to effectively help your customers. First, ensure they are connected to their service writer name. Then, make sure the following are checked as well. New RO, New EST, WIP, EIP, Shop Pulse, Dashboard, and Smart Status. Once you've made your changes, click Update. For technicians, we want to make sure they can see their work assigned and be able to complete checklist. First, assign their technician name, then make sure the following are checked, WIP, EIP, Limit Tech View, and Hide Customer Info. Just like with the administrator and the service writer user, be sure to click Update after your changes. If any of your employees track their time, for example, they clock in and out for the day, as you build or update their user account, you must assign their employee name as well as check the time clock box. If you need to add a new user, click New User. Use the requirements previously described to assign the new user their employee, service writer, and technician. Enter the new user's username and password. Note, the password is case sensitive. If the user will be the administrator as well, be sure to check the administrator box. What happens if your user forgets their password? No problem. Have an administrator open DVI command and navigate to the users section. Locate the user in question and click reset password. Enter the user's new password and click save. As you can see, managing users in DVI suite is quick and allows your DVI suite to be secure.